Going through a Q&A session. Um, how familiar are you with uh, resources at our school? Uh, with resources, actually, on Monday and Tuesday, I went to the Writing Center for the first time, and that's definitely something that I view as very important. It's, it was my first time, and honestly, I didn't think I'd get much out of it, but it changed everything that I had in my paper, and it was a very, very helpful resource. And if I had not checked that out, I don't think my paper would have been as well, but that's definitely the resource that I would want to provide and want to promote to everyone, because it's something that helped me very well, very much, and I'm sure it will help others as well. That's one resource that I'd check out. And also the math resource, I think on the second floor. I've personally never been, but I know that it is up there. As academic coordinator, how can you make study hours more effective? Um, as academic coordinator, I know study sessions do particularly last for a very long time throughout the day, like five hours. I always see the the Facebook updates, but it's like from one to five. And I think to make it more effective, I would definitely <coughs> plan out like specific hours within that five hour period for certain types of studying. And personally for me, I study where I can't get distracted and I need like, silence and if people were to talk to me, I wouldn't be able to absorb any information. So I think, let's say from one to 2.30, I'd put a, let's say, serious studying session. So I'll tell people if you want to come to like the study session where it's dead silent and just studying, then this is the time to come. And then let's say from 2 to 3.30, that's more of a lenient study session. So maybe if you only have notes to copy or um, labeling for anatomy, then you can come there and that's where you can you know, have conversations while doing homework at the same time. And then from like 4 to 5, that's even more lenient studying. That's where people you know, catch up and talk before heading over to GBM. But I think that would, in a way, help implement the study sessions to make it more effective and not just like a hanging out situation. <coughs> um, next question. Um, so this year, our academic coordinator was able to lay the groundwork for our high school conference next year. Um, how would you push to actually make it happen, and how? Or yeah, how would you push to make it happen? Um, how would I push to actually make it happen? I think first off, I'd work with cabinet, of course, but also my friends who are locals here to get the idea out to local high schools and specifically I'm not familiar with the environment or with San Diego but I know from my friends who are locals here that there are certain areas in San Diego that have high Vietnamese <coughs> community and population for example like City Heights I believe and I think my first step would to be reaching out to them and going to their high schools and just telling them about what we have or what we're planning to offer and giving them a brief synopsis of what's going to happen because from personal experience I did something similar at a high school conference in Berkeley and they reached out to us and you know told us what will happen if you do go and I think it's easier within the decision making factor deciding like oh as a high school senior or junior do I want to go out there to San Diego State to see what's you know to learn about this do I want to spend an entire day with these students and I think by telling them in person not just like sending them a blast on Facebook or like an advertisement photo on Facebook would be more effective and by implementing Again, from personal experience, I went through like a rotation type of setting, and if we were to have a high school conference, I would definitely consider having rotations where in each rotation there's something specific that we do talk about. Like, let's say one rotation would be on leadership skills, because again, a high school conference isn't just going to be about VSA, but you know about college and about finding a better sense of yourself as well. So, let's say one on leadership and having um, VSA members talk about what are what it takes to become a leader, how you can become a leader, like activities and icebreakers like that. And then another one on just the entire college experience in general, having uh, VSA members and other people who want to get involved, like friends and people who do want to talk to high schoolers about um, their entire college experience or how they decided on what major they want to take or um, how they decided where they want to go. And then another one, again, more specifically on VSA, because again, we are hosting this event. so our cabinet members and regular members can volunteer to explain, okay, what we offer. And maybe there could be like a dance for VSA Modern, or there can be a um, like host, let's say the ACE coordinators, like the academic